Welcome back to our Inkscape videos. We're going to continue with the poster. Uh, last lesson, we learned about how to put text on a path. And today we're going to learn something about grouping. Um, when you have Inkscape across the top, um, there's a button. There's two buttons here that look like this. And they, it's like it has two different shapes and has little dots in the four corners. One is called Group Selected Objects, and the one beside it is called Ungroup Selected Objects. Um, and you'll see it also has Control G for the keyboard shortcut if you like keyboard shortcuts. So this Let's Choose Kindness is attached to that invisible, um, the invisible curve, the invisible curved path. So I'm just going to bring the curved path back. So just give me a second here. Uh, I'm going to shoot. I highlighted both things. So I just dragged a box around both things. And I'm going to set the stroke for both of them to be black. Um, and so there you go. There's the line back again. And what I want to do is I want to group those together. And by grouping them together, you'll see now they're just one solid object. And I can move them around as they go. And they even, they even go at the back. And then if I click go to the front, both of them come to the front because they're grouped together. So the curved line comes to the front and the text comes to the front and you can see the words behind. By the way, with be kind, uh, I, I'm just going to delete that. So I'm just going to move it out of the way and click delete on my keyboard. Um, I could just, in, I'll undo that. Um, I could have right clicked on it and choose to delete this way. Uh, but as you can see, you can just click delete on your keyboard and it will delete. Um, so I'm just going to click on that and press delete on my keyboard again. Um, and uh, I want to, so I want to show you group, and then I wanted to show you how to change the page layout. So, for instance, let's choose kindness is long and wide, um, and uh, and actually I want to get rid of that line again. So, how do I make the line again invisible? I double click on it, and now when I click to select the line, now I'm just selecting part of the group. That's the line. So I'm just going to right click on that and set the stroke. There we go. So, and then just kind of double click out here again, and now you can see that the group is is back to be selected. So it's kind of weird when you're editing a group that you need to double click and then choose which part of the group you want to double we want to edit. So once again, if I double click on let's choose kindness, it says which part of the group would you like to edit, I can either edit the, the words, um, or I can edit um, other things. So this is where I could choose like, I, I don't know why I would want to choose the fill to be blue. Yeah, that's just terrible. So I'm just going to undo that. Um, so the next thing I wanted to show you was how to change the page layout. Um, and the easiest way for me to do that is to show you a really quick thing. Under file, near the very bottom, there's one called document properties and it creates a little pop-up window. There's the pop-up window. And uh, we want we live in Canada, so we use US letter. If you're in Europe, uh, the A4 size is very common, but we use US letter. Um, you'll see here that it gives us a width of 8.5 and a height of 11, and that's in inches. And then also just right up here, you've got portrait or landscape. And I'm going to choose landscape, which turns the page sideways. Okay. So once I've done those two things, um, I, I sometimes go in here and, and turn off the snapping. Um, you don't have to do that, but I, I sometimes just do that just to make life a little bit easier. Um, if you find it's trying to snap things, that's how you, uh, that's how you stop the snapping. And then uh, what I'm going to do now is, um, so I'm just going to grab that group and, oh, wait, undo. Uh, let's just double click and move the whole thing, including the invisible line. You can see how it's got extra space. So I'm going to group um, these things together. So I'm going to highlight, drag over top of all three of those and group those together. And now that they're grouped, I can click on it one time and I can rotate it. And I don't know why I feel like doing it this way, but I'm just going to move them so that they fit on the page like this. This is going to be my amazing poster. I don't know if it's the most amazing poster I've ever seen, but... Hey, there's a pattern. And then I'm going to bring the words and put them down in the middle. So uh, again, I'm going to hold down control and zoom in. And you can see that, wow, uh, the words are way too big. So I need to bring that back down again. Uh, I'm going to, with the words, again, I'm going to choose the lock to make sure that they stay, the aspect ratio stays correct. And that way, when I grab a corner and move it smaller, the, the letters all stay in the correct aspect ratio. So I'm just going to move this over here and then make it smaller. There's let's choose kindness. Okay. And I can center it around. Uh, for those of you who are curious, you can always press number five on your keyboard. Five zooms you to the page level. Uh, if you lose things and there's stuff way out in the world that you don't know about, you can always press four and that will zoom you to show everything that you've got in your drawing. So there you go. There's Let's Choose Kindness. 
Uh, I'm actually going to try and make that a little bit bigger and then move it back in the center. Sure, that's a little bit better. Okay, and now I've got, there's my poster, it's all done. Um, and I can choose whether I want a white background or, or a different color background for my page um, just by drawing another box. So let's uh, go ahead and draw another box. Very good. There's the other box. I'm going to make the corners not rounded. I'm going to give it a gray color. And then I'm going to use the top black arrow to move it to the back. And that looks absolutely terrible. Oh my goodness. Maybe a light gray. So this is where you can play around with colors. I'm going to include a color video later on. Um, but there you go. There's a quick and easy way um, to show how you can add, um, how you can group different uh, things together. And then uh, once you group the different things together, um, how you can um, rotate them as a group or move them as a group or shrink them as a group. Um, and then uh, if you want to edit them, you can just double click on them and then you can choose, do I want to edit this part or this part or this part? And then if I double click somewhere else, I've got the, the words and then I can double click on it and just edit the words. If I double click again, I could say, e -e -e -e, which is stupid because that doesn't make any sense. So let's say let's and then we'll click away. Okay, choose the black arrow and press the save button. Boom, to make sure the star goes away in front of the P for poster and I'm now uh, done my poster and I'm ready to move on uh, to other things. There you go. Let's choose kindness with a black background or let's choose kindness with a white background. So that's my page. I'm now done. I can hit save and I can submit it. And my page is ready for somebody to hit print on the color printer. If you have one available, we do have a color printer available in our class. Um, and then we are ready to post these around the school. So thank you very much for sticking with us. I'm going to post a color uh, theory video uh, that's about six and a half minutes long come after this one just to talk to you about how different colors go together. Um, and just in case any of you are struggling with what colors to choose and what looks good, uh, there's just a quick little video for you to learn from. All right. Have a great day. Thanks so much for learning about Inkscape with me.